good morning vlog. My face is red um, and puffy because it is 21 degrees outside. 21 degrees. So not the not the most fun temperature, but Colorado has basically jumped into winter, no fall. So I will deal with it. But it's the day before. So there's gonna be some crazy lighting until I get off like this road. But it is the day before Halloween, Monday. And I wanna show you my outfit. I'm wearing a Charlie Brown great pumpkin shirt and then like a black and white striped turtleneck under it. Cause it's a short sleeve so it'd be too cold. Um, and then just my Montclair jacket. But um, yeah, I wanna show you my outfit. Cause it's like, it's kinda cute for work, for like Halloween vibes. Cause tomorrow I'm gonna be um, Violet Beauregard, Beauregard from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, the Johnny Depp version. So that should be exciting. I will vlog that. Hopefully it comes out okay. Cracking open. <gasps> Did you just see that? Oh my God, why did that just happen? I just cracked open the Celsius. Okay, that was weird. They like never do that to me. This is the kiwi guava one. In my opinion, the kiwi guava, the mixed berry, like all the OG flavors, and not the vibe flavors, if you know Celsius, like there's like a peach vibe, a desert vibe, an arctic vibe. I don't like those. I really like all the OG flavors. So like kiwi guava, sparkling orange, sparkling berry, sparkling grape, what else? Oh, the Coca-Cola, like the sparkling cola one is so good. I like never seen it anymore. They stopped making it. But anyway, yeah, Celsius. What was I saying? Oh, I hope my um, Veronica Beauregard, is that her name? I'm losing my mind. Can you tell I get straight out of bed and roll into my car and start driving to work? But I hope my um, outfit tomorrow looks cute because it's really just, ooh, it's really just a blonde wig, like a short blonde bob wig with bangs and makeup and then like a blue top. Cause I didn't want to get a full blue, like velour tracksuit cause I didn't think that would be appropriate at work. So I'm just gonna wear like a blue top, the wig and the makeup. So hopefully it comes out, but I will show you guys tomorrow, so. But yeah, it is the day before Halloween, so at work I think I'm gonna... Oh, if s someone doesn't know this, I'm a speech therapist. I went to school for speech and hearing sciences. Um, the other thing you can do with that major is audiology to be an audiologist, which is uh, a doctor of the ear, which did not interest me. I like speech and communication disorders. But yeah, so I'm a speech therapist at a school. And where's it going with that? Oh yeah, because today, tomorrow is Halloween. My mark on the younger generation is showing them all of the original Charlie Brown movies. So like The Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, um, A Charlie Brown Christmas, but like the originals. They'll be like, oh, I saw the Peanuts movie. It's like, no, you need to see the originals. So all the kids I work with. That is like my stamp on them, is making them Charlie Brown peanuts obsessed. So I think today we're all gonna watch Charlie Brown and the Great Pumpkin. I have Apple TV, which peanuts did like an official, what's the word? Licensing deal with Apple TV. So they used to show like all the peanut specials on TV. They don't do that anymore. You have to have Apple TV to watch any of the peanut specials. So obviously I got it. But yeah, I'm gonna show all the kids the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown today. I'm really excited. We're gonna talk about it. Because peanuts is a great, there's, there's a lot of things left unsaid in peanuts. Like they don't say everything they're thinking. So it's a great inferencing, like it's a great talking piece. But even if it wasn't, <laughs> I would still be showing them because I am peanuts obsessed. And so will the kids that I work with. So I'm really excited about that. And then tomorrow for actual Halloween, I'm gonna bring like little treats. I got little cupcakes and little cookies 
Um, and then I always have like Halloween candy out year round because I just, it's like if you can't make your job fun, what is there to do? So that's what I do. I make it as fun as possible. I always have candy. I always have treats. I always have like themed things. So I'm excited. Also yesterday at Target, do I have it? Oh yeah. Yesterday at Target, um, they're kind of putting out all their Christmas stuff, which is crazy, but I guess. I mean, I guess of course they are. Like, what else are we gonna do? Okay, pause. Look how pretty it is out. Do you see all the snow? Like, all the snow-capped trees? Okay, that was an intermission. But yeah, I mean, I guess they're gonna put the Christmas stuff out, because like, what else are they gonna do? I don't know, but they had the original um, Grinch It Stole Christmas book, like the OG. So I got that. I'm gonna bring it to school. That'll be our next talking point after after Halloween. Also, I don't know if you guys are. I feel like there are two types of people in the world, and it's the people that the second Halloween's over, like Christmas is on, like Donkey Kong, and then there's the people that are like, no, we need to get through Thanksgiving, and we need to savor all of fall, and then we will get to like the holiday, which is. December because I my birthday is in November I'm a Scorpio slut I'm a Scorpio and so my birthday's right around Thanksgiving so my entire life I've associated like November birthday Thanksgiving all is one like the best month ever for me is November and I really do savor Thanksgiving Thanksgiving is probably my second or third favorite holiday, which I feel like it is often forgotten. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm not the type of person where on Wednesday it will be Christmas because it won't be, it will not. I like to savor all of fall and I like to savor all of Christmas when it is appropriate, if you know what I mean. I got this package I've been waiting for. Here, babe, come hold this. It's like a big Lucy from Charlie Brown, but it's the Halloween edition. And you can like take off her mask and then her little Halloween costume. And she's just in her normal clothes. But look how cool that is obsessed but I love I love her mask so be my new bestie should put in the window is this slang yes or no good morning ladies and gentlemen Violet Beauregard reporting for duty I look insane in this wig but that's okay because I feel like if I didn't do the wig, if I just did my blonde hair, it would have been like, oh, she put some purple on her nose, you know what I mean? And then I didn't have a blue velour tracksuit, but I have my blue Lululemon scuba, which is arguably the same thing in this decade, so I think it's going to work. Obviously, it has to be school appropriate, and then I'm wearing Lulu, their blue um, dance pants, so... All shades of blue, but I feel like the makeup honestly came out pretty good. And I'm like not good with eyeshadow, or I'm not. I can just do like basic makeup, but it looks good. I wonder if the kids are gonna know what I am. I don't know if the kids are like big on Charlie and the Chocolate Factory these days, but we'll see. Also, I like, I was thinking, I like from the original Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, I like Violet Beauregard's voice back then when she had like the English accent. She's like, my daddy, you know that one? Versus the new one. So maybe I'm, I'm gonna try to find a TikTok sound with that voice. But yeah, I just wanna show you guys Violet Beauregard in the flesh. Oh, and then I'm bringing these little cookies the best everyone knows these are the best because they're like peanut they're like all allergen free which is so nice and then 
I'm bringing this big thing of Harvest Cupcakes. So I feel like that'll be cute. We're having a, like a parade. So I don't know how much of my like services are gonna be interrupted, but whoever does end up coming is getting a treat. I'm very excited about that. I love doing fun stuff like this. It is still so cold. It is 17 degrees out. And I think we're doing the Halloween parade outside. So my nose will be pink, purple, and blue in real life. Sorry about this lighting. It'll go away in like two seconds. I was, oh, I was Pam, Pamela Anderson last year as is everyone, every blonde. Um, the year before that I was American Psych, or, American Psycho, yeah, yeah, Patrick Bateman, American Psycho, and then the year before that, I was still at ASU, so I was, why can't I remember, I've always, I'm always like a vampire cheerleader, because I had the cutest Dolls Kill um, cheerleader costume, it was all ripped up and I'd put fangs in like blood, so I was always like a vampire cheerleader, or like a zombie cheerleader. What's another one I always did? I'm trying to think. I don't know. You kind of just like made it work in college. Like you'd put a little black mark on your nose and you'd be like, I'm a cat. <laughs> I'm a mouse. Duh. Mean girls. But yeah. But this year it's Violet. And then Stefan is going to be Augustus Gloop. I got him a red and white striped shirt. And then I'm going to put like chocolate all over his face. And I think I'm going to stuff a pillow under his shirt to make him look like really fat. Like Augustus does. So just wait for the TikToks. They should be absolutely slaying. Okay. Gotta go to work. Your whole nose has gone purple. What do you mean? Violet, you're turning violet. What's happening? Well, I told you I hadn't quite got it. Hello, vlog. We just got back from Target, and there was... Uh, I'm vlogging. Uh, we just got from Target, and I got some cute, like, Christmassy stuff. Also, look at this crew neck. I worked to work today. But on theme, I got this... It was kind of by, like, the holiday pajama section. It was just a little crew neck. Peanuts crew neck. And then, I don't know why they have such good peanut stuff right now, but this is in the men's section and I died. Like, how good is that? And then I always get like winter sheets from Target. They're so good. I just got the flannel and I'm gonna wash them right now and then put them on. I'm really excited. And then I got this wooden, it's like a serving tray. It's a snowflake and I like to put like candles and like decor on these because I just feel like they're cute but you can also do it as like a cheese board they had a what did they have a Christmas tree this one and then like a wreath shape they're all really cute it's kind of it's November 2nd yeah the 2nd and I'm trying to think if when we should cut the Christmas tree. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I will show you the, the sheets. Also, these are my nails. If I never showed you guys. She did such a good job. Okay. But like, look how much cuter this corner looks right now. Just by putting this candle on that. And this is from TJ Maxx. So cute. Good morning vlog. Starbucks has their Christmas menu out, so we're going. Um, this is what they have, if my phone will focus. They have like the peppermint mocha, the caramel brulee latte, the gingerbread oat milk chai latte, the gingerbread latte, sugar cookie almond latte, chestnut praline latte, white chocolate mocha hot chocolate. An iced gingerbread oat milk chai latte, a peppermint mocha frappuccino blended. So yesterday, 
I was completely taken off guard. I didn't know they had it. And it was my day to bring Starbucks for me and this girl at work. I pulled up. I was, because I thought it was dropping today. I was like in shock. I didn't know what to do. So I was like, I'll just get, I just got um, a pumpkin coffee. Because I was, or sorry, my apple crisp chicken oat milk macchiato. Because I literally was so taken aback. And I was like, I need, I need to do this right. So, okay. And then they have the snowman cookie, the sugar plum cheese danish, peppermint brownie cake pop, cranberry bliss bar, gingerbread loaf. I think that's new. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Okay. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. My friend Avery got the sugar cookie latte yesterday and posted a picture and I was like, that looks so good. But I really want to try something new like i want to try gingerbread so should i let me see what it says i wish i had like someone had posted like a good recipe to order okay so it says gingerbread latte and obviously i can get that iced milk blonde espresso two shots four pumps gingerbread shop gingerbread syrup pumpkin spice chopping whipped cream okay we'll just get that and add an extra shot because it's always too sweet so we'll just do that and then i'm getting a sugar plum danish there's absolutely no way i'm not oh do you guys like my outfit these are victoria's secret pajamas i literally just put on a hat and a vest because i am cold okay sorry we had to get out of my garage really quick but happy friday I didn't have to go to work today because it's a uh, teacher work day and I'm not a teacher so I don't have to do stuff like that because I'm like a specialist so amazing 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 okay I'm so excited and then next we have to go to Duncan we have to go to Duncan one of these days because I'm not for sure what they dropped but I'm I'm pretty sure I saw something that said they dropped that cookie butter cold brew again, and it's actually really good. So I would totally get that again. And then I like their peppermint mocha, and then I think they just have like Christmas donuts. I'm not sure. Okay. I hope the gingerbread is good, because if it's, okay, what is this car doing? Because if it's not, I'm gonna wish that I had gotten the sugar cookie. Did I show you guys my nails? There's no way I have it, right? They're like um, chrome brown. They're gorgeous. They're like the most fun nails I've had in so long. They're very November. Very November. It's not that cold out compared to like the other days I was vlogging, like one of the days. I said it was like 20 something because my car hadn't reset and it was actually like 14 so it's 41 right now which obviously 41 is way better than anything under 30 degrees all the snow melted it should be i don't know if it says it's gonna snow again but it was just shocking like it was just shocking that it literally dumped like eight inches and it was 12 degrees i was like i'm not ready for this but it is now my birth month. November, since I was little, has always been my favorite month just because I think I associated it with my birthday. So I was like, oh, November's birthday. And then I really like Thanksgiving, which I know I talked about in another vlog, but I've always been a Thanksgiving girly. So my birthday plus Thanksgiving, amazing. And like Thanksgiving break is always really nice. I don't know, I just love November. It's like the perfect vibes. But I cannot believe it's my birthday. Like it kind of feels like it was just my birthday and then it also feels like, I don't know, time has just been moving really weird. But I've heard people say that like grief, like that'll happen with grief. It makes time like, or what's the word? Steph Papas was talking about it in one of her videos, um, but like, I guess grief messes up like your timeline, like timelines of things. 
and I feel like that all the time. Do you? <laughs> Sometimes I feel like this hat. Focus. Thank you. Sometimes I feel like this hat makes me look insane. But it's like, it's literally one of the best things I've ever bought. Um, last year, no, it might have been two years ago at Free People. They had these in every color. I had a gray one that I just destroyed. Like, it got disgusting. So then I got this one. And I wear this when it's cold, like, every day. Because I can't stand, like, my ears and my face being cold. But I have a really uh, small head. Like, I, like, the circumference of my head is small. So sometimes hats look like really weird on me I don't know but they don't sell this hat anymore if they did believe me I would have it I would have three in every color okay oh my god wait we're getting there and I don't know what to do pause I'm literally stopping in the drive-thru that's okay okay gingerbread latte okay I don't think I want whipped cream mm. I'm good, how are you? Good, thank you. What can I get started for you? Can I get a grande gingerbread latte? Grande gingerbread latte? What else for you? Um, can you make that iced with an extra yeah, shot of, of espresso? Extra shot of espresso iced? No. And then, can I get a sugar plum danish? Sugar plum danish? What else for you? And then the gingerbread loaf. And a gingerbread loaf. Anything else for you? That's all. 1663 LPS the window. Thank, thank you. you. I'm so excited. Okay. We can't try it though until we go home. Because Stefan's working from home. And he's gonna want to try it too. But we will try the latte. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm trying to think. I feel like there was a holiday drink last year that was like a total flop, but I cannot remember what it was. What was it? I wonder if I look up 2022 holiday Starbucks. If it'll come up. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I've spent so much money at Starbucks in the past three days. <laughs> okay. Peppermint mocha, caramel brew la latte, chestnut praline, toasted white mocha, almond sugar cookie latte. Oh, yeah. The Irish cream cold brew. Do you guys remember that one? It was not good. It... Oh, yeah. The new, the chocolate pistachio swirl roll. Do you guys remember that? It like looked like a cinnamon roll, but it was like really dry. It was not good. Okay. Maybe that's what I was thinking of. Because everything else seems pretty standard. And I know bitches go crazy. I'm bitches. But bitches go crazy for the caramel brulee and the chestnut praline and the toasted white chocolate. Like I know those are like fan favorites. So it must have been the Irish one. Okay, I'm getting my scanner out and ready. Oh, I'm trying to think what else I was gonna tell you guys. Oh yeah, this is so unlike me, but I usually during Christmas and like um, my birthday, cause they're like back to back, I always do like all these wish list videos on TikTok um, because I always have a wish list going. Like, I always have things I want, I always have things I want to buy because I am a certified shopaholic. And for some reason, this year, I like it's been painful trying to find things that I want. And part of that has to do with if I see something, I just buy it, like, or Stefan gets it for me. I'm not really like, I don't wait. Oh. 
Morning. 1663. You want to use any points? No, it's okay. I'll save them. Thank you. Have a good day. I forgot to ask for no whipped cream. That's okay. It's not like I'm healthy by any means. Okay, let me see. So I got ice gingerbread latte, blonde, and, oh yeah, triple. So I got an extra shot. Look at her. In all of her glory. Okay, I have to take a picture of the cup really quick. Because not me holding up the entire line. You guys were in the back of that, so just so you know. What was I? Oh, yes. It has been truly painstaking to try to find things I want this year just because, like I said, like Uggs, for example. Like, I always want a new pair of Uggs or like cute Uggs. I can't wait for my birthday because it's the end of November and it's already freezing in Colorado. So it's like, no, I want them now. So it's just things like that that. That is so good. I don't know how it would taste um, normally because I always get an extra shot and everything, but wow. That is yummy. And the whipped cream with the pumpkin spice on top really like adds a lot. So I would say just get it. Get the dome cup, slay the dome cup. Okay. But like, Last night, I lit, because Stephen keeps me like, what do you want for your birthday? And I'm like, cricket, cricket, cricket. So last night, I literally sat aside. I will show you. Took time away. And I was going through everyone's TikTok wish list. Like, you know, girls post those. I, <laughs> I gathered nothing. I got like this aloe Sherpa jacket in brown which i think is cute i'll put them up on the screen um like a candle like a pink christmas candle oh, there was like this cute bow ring like i feel like everything bows are really in right now very girly and then this ariana grande her rim beauty um lip oil in mint like i don't it's, it's rough out there um i don't know and then, like, I made a wish list a couple days ago. It's, like, a phone case and a hoodie. But I ordered all of it that day. Like, I don't know who I'm trying to fool. Wish list for who? I ordered it. Me. I have a, I have a problem. But we already knew that. So, I don't know. what. I'm, but we're going to Aspen for my birthday. I'm sure there will be something there that I want. Like, it's... You know what I mean? It's just weird when you get like, when you're out of your, like first when you're a kid, you always want stuff because it's like toys and it's like easy. Then when you're a teenager, I feel like it kind of goes into things like you need. Like I need a new phone or I need a new computer. I need jeans, I need shoes, you know, things like that. And then when you're in your, tw like your early twenties, it's kind of like, I don't know what day it is today let alone what I need you know what I mean like I feel like you're just it's just a whole different mindset and I think definitely if I wasn't like a buyer because I really am, I'm not a savior like I'm like gimme 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 my like I would have longer lists but also with the oh there you go also with the wedding like my mind has been so many places that have nothing to do with my birthday or like Christmas or just anything. Like I'm still thinking about the wedding and it's over. Okay, I'm home. We are going to try the goodies. So I got 
There's kiwi. I got gingerbread loaf and then the sugar plum danish. And this doesn't feel warm, but the sugar plum danish does. Do I try? Yeah. What does it taste like? Do you know what it tastes like? A spice cake. Yeah. I, it's right. yeah, it's all right. The pumpkin loaf is a thousand times better. Um, yeah, it just tastes like a spice cake. And then this is the, good Lord. Good. It's so good. What that is like if it's literally oh. plum jelly i don't know it's a sugar plum. <laughs> oh okay oh, okay let me see if the dogs like the gingerbread loaf Okay, so what would you give the gingerbread loaf? Oh, like a five or something. A five? Yeah, 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 I would say, I don't know. I would say it's like, yeah, no, honestly, yeah, like a five. It's just a spice, it's just like a spice cake. This, however, what, 11, a 12? Yeah, so good. What would you give my coffee? <laughs> Stefan hates coffee, and he said this was good, so. I think that says a lot. Okay, also, this is what we're doing around here. This is the Charlie Brown. I'll turn on. Christmas. Oh, it's unplugged. I was like, why is it not spinning? That was embarrassing.